Peter O'Toole was an Irish-born British actor known for his charismatic screen presence and remarkable performances, particularly in epic films. His career spanned over six decades, and he remains one of the most celebrated actors in the history of cinema. Birth, Peter Seamus O'Toole was born on August 2, 1932, in Connemara, County Galway, Ireland. His father was a bookmaker, and his mother was a nurse. Upbringing, O'Toole was raised in Leeds, England, where his family moved shortly after his birth. He attended Catholic schools, which he later described as strict and authoritarian environments. As a teenager, O'Toole worked as a journalist and photographer for a local newspaper before deciding to pursue a career in acting. Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, Rodder O'Toole won a scholarship to Rodder, one of the most prestigious drama schools in London, where he studied alongside future stars like Albert Finney and Richard Harris. He graduated in 1954, and his stage career began to take off. Theatre work, O'Toole became a member of the Bristol Old Vic Theatre Company, where he gained a reputation as a talented stage actor. He performed in a range of classical roles, including Shakespearean characters like Hamlet, which he would revisit throughout his career. Lawrence of Arabia, 1962 O'Toole's breakthrough role came when he was cast as T. Lawrence in David Lean's epic film Lawrence of Arabia. The film was a massive success, and O'Toole's portrayal of the enigmatic British officer earned him international fame and his first Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. His performance is often cited as one of the greatest in film history, and the role made him an instant star. Other notable films Beckett, 1964 O'Toole played King Henry II opposite Richard Burton's Thomas Beckett. The film earned him his second Oscar nomination. The Lion in Winter, 1968 O'Toole reprised his role as Henry II, this time opposite Catherine Hepburn's Eleanor of Aquitaine. The film was critically acclaimed, and O'Toole received another Oscar nomination. Goodbye, Mr. Chips, 1969 O'Toole's portrayal of a shy schoolteacher earned him yet another Oscar nod. The Ruling Class, 1972 in this satirical black comedy, O'Toole played a deranged English nobleman, a performance that showcased his versatility and earned him another Oscar nomination. The Stuntman, 1980 O'Toole was nominated for an Oscar for his role as an eccentric film director, adding to his long list of celebrated performances. My Favorite Year, 1982 his portrayal of an aging, hard-drinking movie star earned him his seventh Oscar nomination. Oscar nominations, over his career, O'Toole received eight Academy Award nominations for Best Actor, but he never won. He holds the record for the most nominations without a win. However, in 2003, he was awarded an honorary Oscar for his lifetime achievements in film. Personal struggles, O'Toole's life was marked by a series of personal challenges, including heavy drinking, which he later overcame. His hard-living lifestyle became almost as famous as his acting, contributing to his image as a larger-than-life figure. Health issues. In the late 1970s, O'Toole was diagnosed with stomach cancer, which he survived after surgery. He also suffered from other health problems related to his years of heavy drinking. Return to stage and television, O'Toole continued to work in film and theater throughout his life. He also made notable appearances on television, including his role as the Roman Emperor Tiberius in Caligula, 1979, and as Pope Paul III in the Tudors, 2008-2010. Death, Peter O'Toole passed away on December 14, 2013, at the age of 81. He died peacefully in a London hospital after a long illness. Legacy, O'Toole is remembered as one of the greatest actors of his generation, known for his intense, intelligent, and often eccentric performances. His work in Lawrence of Arabia alone has secured his place in the pantheon of film legends, but his entire body of work reflects a dedication to the craft of acting that few have matched. Despite never winning a competitive Oscar, his influence on film and theater is undeniable, and he remains an enduring icon of 20th century cinema. There are thousands of great videos like this on the channel, please take a look, Please share and subscribe or visit the Bonswivit channel on eBay which has over a quarter of a million rare and collectible items listed.